Hey guys, what's up? This is Alex and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks Tuesdays where today I'm going to be giving you five tips and tricks that we, the guys at Mobile Team, use every day. All right, let's get started. This is Jew the Beta, one of our build team managers, and he's going to be helping me today. Let's tackle hanging bridges. Now, the easiest way you're going to do this is to enter in the command slash B space L for the line brush, then slash V space whatever material you want it to be. So for this example, we're just going to use stone. So it'd be slash V space one. Then you simply right click with your arrow where you want your line to start and right click with your gunpowder where you want it to end and a straight line between the two points will appear. Now, to make a hanging bridge from this, you're kind of gonna to have to adapt your own style to whatever line that you have. But some things to keep in mind are uh, which points are higher, which, or which point is higher than the other because the bridge is naturally gonna lean closer towards the lower. Our second tip of the day is the uh, basically using the line brush a little more in depth than uh, what I just explained. So again, the command for the line brush is slash B space L. Uh, then you're going to go slash V space one to select stone as your material. And basically all you have to do here uh, to make easy spikes or spires is to set one block a little ways away from a wall and off the ground and uh, set your first point on that floating block. So with your arrow, go ahead and right click on the block. And then you're gonna right click uh, with your gunpowder on the wall that you want the spike to be coming off of. You can see here uh, the example that Jacob will be giving you. Roads are next. Now, I'm just gonna have the commands pop up over your screen as I say this, simply because it's quite a mouthful for uh, all these commands. Basically, what you're gonna do is you're going to create a sponge path using a voxel overlay command. And you should be seeing that pop up at the bottom of the screen now for you to enter it in yourself. And you draw a path with it, you select that path, and you replace the sponge with uh, a percentage of cobblestone, grass, gravel, and stone. And that should do roads. All right guys, up next we have floating islands. Now this one's a little more tricky than some of the other ones. So for this one, I'm just gonna have the commands pop up on screen as I say them. So you're gonna take a pull brush and you're gonna pull up uh, pieces of this little floating island. And um, as you pull up more and more spikes, you'll see it start to look a little more and more natural. You can play around with it, you can edit it all you want. Um, then once you're happy with the shape, you're going to make a world edit selection of this upside down island. And then you're gonna copy it, flip it, and then paste it. Then once you've got your island right side up and it's floating off the ground, you can do an overlay command to cover with dirt, and then another overlay to cover it with grass. And there's your floating island. All right guys, this is our last step for this week. Now, this is how to make a waterfall, or a realistic looking waterfall, or have waterfalls that are somewhat natural. Now you're gonna take your overlay command again and you're gonna do slash B space over space D1. Set your voxel uh, material to sand slash V space sand. And make sure you're using the gunpowder when you do this. You're gonna right click along the riverbed and you should see the sand just pile up. Some of it will fall down and settle. And uh, basically you just fill all the area you want to be water with sand. Then once you've done that, you make a selection of all the sand that you've placed with your overlay brush, and you replace sand with nine, which is water. And that is how you do easy waterfalls. 
Alright guys, that's all I've got for you this week, but make sure you tune in next week where I'll have five more tips and tricks for you.